Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're back inside Disney California Adventure Park. We'll be showing you all of the upcoming 2024 Food and Wine Festival booths and their menus, as well as some tips and tricks that will be sure to help you out when it comes to this year's festival. We will also be taking a look at any new merchandise that has recently released, as well as trying some new and exclusive foods that are only available here at Disney California Adventure Park, as well as checking out any new park construction updates that are happening and having some family fun time as well. So stay tuned. But before we get started with today's video, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you guys do enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. So let's get started. So we just made it inside of Disney California Adventure Park and here at Oswald's, there are some new ears. So let's go check them out. So here we have the new Remy Ratatouille ears. These are so cute. Looks like we have a little bit of cheese on them. That is neat. A little picnic scene on the back. <laughs> so these are really cool. It looks like they have some like springtime mini ones as well as these macaron springtime looking ears. I was going to say, okay, and they're scented too. So that's kind of cool. I don't know. I've, I've personally never seen them, but Nicole says they are returning and it looks like they have just a few other things, but the highlight of today are these really cool things. Now it's time to head inside five and dime to see if there's any new merchandise for today. It looks like the Disney 2024 park stuff is still in stock which they do have quite a bit of cool different things for this year but nothing that really kind of takes our attention minus the shirt i really do like the shirt but if you guys want the 2024 merch it looks like it's still in stock and of course the disney 100 merchandise is still in stock it does however look like it's slightly thinning out so if you guys do want it and you're coming here soon there are still a few things in stock has anyone else noticed this hidden press penny machine? I have never seen it. I mean, it could be that it's been forever since we've actually done a press penny machine, but yeah, this is a hidden one. And of course, the time that we're not looking for anything, everything is still in stock, including you, Lotso. You took forever to find, but again, all the stuff is here. Okay guys, I'm gonna be caving. It looks like this munchling is $10. I have to get it. I have to. So pardon me guys, I'm holding two of those munchling things, but this bucket hat also looks really cool. I think Nicole would love this, as well as like a matching little bag. But there's one more thing I actually wanna show you guys. And here it is. It's the luckiest place on earth shirt for St. Patrick's Day. I really like this. It's a really cool concept. I think I got last year's, but this one looks pretty nice. And Disney Numios, it doesn't look like there's anything new. Of course, the one I want to get is still in stock. I'm gonna have to get it soon, but of course today we're holding two of these. I want to get one for someone in the family and of course Ray Lonnie as a surprise, but Numios, we need some more stuff. And of course, moving a little bit more inside by Elias & Co. It looks like Plenty of the Disneyland Resort merchandise is in stock. Again, this collection is actually really cool. I do like it. I kind of want to get Nicole that side bag that's up there, but if you guys are coming to the parks anytime soon, it's still available. For $39.99, it looks like there is a new R2-D2 Astromech Joy shirt, which looks really cool. I think it's like the same material as my Bantha shirt, but I really like this one as well. Okay, I might be delayed on this one, but let me know in the comment section down below, guys, if these are new or they've been out for a while. I haven't personally seen them, but they look really cool. There's also a matching lounge fly for that same collection. And one thing I still need to get is this Star Wars I Am No Jedi Sokotano hat. Maybe next week I might get this thing. Okay, now it's time to take Raylani her surprise. We'll see what she says. She is right here. Got you a Remy. Oh my gosh! It's Remy! <laughs> Remy from Adventure Remy! Remy. What? what? Cool, huh? Do you love it? <laughs> okay. Raylani, do you like it? I love it. You like it? Okay, cool. Oh my gosh! It's so cute. It's like a hot chocolate. It was a bargain, Raylani. It's called the French Hot Chocolate Remy. Cool. Ooh. <laughs> so far today has been a success. I know later on in the week is when Food and Wine Festival is actually gonna officially kick off, but I wanna see if the booths are out or if some of the booths are out and then kind of talk about that and the menus. 
But for now, we're probably gonna cruise around a little bit, see any park updates. We do have a pickup for some food at Pim Test Kitchen. Probably right now, I think I'm already behind, but let's go over there and get our food first. Moving through Disney California Adventure with big old Remy is a little bit of a struggle. Just our luck, it's sprinkling again, and it's like a heavy sprinkle, and we were not prepared because it said it was just gonna be light, but here we are. Uh, once again, right? It looks like there is some setup happening for Food and Wine 2024. It looks like we have the banner. So I was correct the other day when I was saying that this might be the actual like design based upon the actual DJ setup that was back more by Ariel's. But we have two booths that are in the back over here. Looks like we have Golden Dreams. I couldn't see the other one. Oh, Nuts About Cheese, so Nicole spotted that one. And then right on the other side, we have Uncork California. Let's go check out that menu right now. Here we have Uncork California, which is really cool. I like the little corkscrew thing on the top that's undoing the cork. But anyways, so it looks like it's our first booth minus the other two that we can't actually see. And I'll link down below, guys, the actual menu for the entire festival so you guys can just, you know, see it down there. But it looks like there is a raspberry almond cake. There is a rosé margarita and then a few other different alcoholic beverages, which is pretty cool. But looks like this has pretty much two food offering options. Now it's time for us to make our way through Avengers Campus to head to Pem Tess Kitchen to get some food. Raylani, of course, is having a blast still with her Remy Munchling. <laughs> so we made our way over here to Pem Tess Kitchen, but we got Raylani a really cool looking breakfast lunch brunch thing <laughs> she's so excited to so begin. she's very eager so this is for you raylani so we got the cinnamon brew infusion i think i've had this before but we're doing it again because i really need my coffee so cheers and while mommy's taking her drink what do you think about yours raylani is it good yeah perfect this is really good, really woke me up with that first sip and that caramel drizzle on top is just a nice touch, so I can't wait to finish this off. So next up, we're starting with the asada pretzel. This is fry tip over a pretzel with a avocado salsa, cilantro, roasted onions, and some pepper, so I'm excited to dig on in. There's some very good flavors in there. That salsa is quite spicy um, with the added red peppers. There's a lot of textures going on with like the chewiness of the pretzel and then you got the little like ground beef style of your tri-tip. So it's kind of hard to plate everything for a good bite, but I really enjoy these flavors and I can't wait to finish the sauce. So this one's just a little bit spicy. I don't know if that's coming from the actual salsa or that red pepper that's on here. It tastes really, really good. I think the carne asada definitely reminds me of the same exact recipe that's used over at Award Wieners which I really, really like. Overall, this is really good. I would definitely eat it when it's fresh because again, once the pretzel kind of starts getting a little bit, I don't know, not hot, I guess, um, it tastes different. It's not that it's bad by any means. It's still really good. I love the additives that are on this, making it a fun and creative looking pretzel. But again, Pim Test Kitchen, you guys knocked out the water as always. Truly appreciate it. And Ray Lani is having a blast with this meal. This is like the first time we've actually got her one and it seems like she enjoys it. At least she's eating. Uh-oh, we'll clean it. <laughs> so we finally made our way outside of Avengers Campus and boy, it's awfully loud in there. Maybe that's just me, but we have some updates that are here next to Mater's Junkyard Jamboree. And that is some more construction updates here that's happening. I'm not too sure exactly what's gonna be happening inside of here, but I know that this construction has been going on for quite some time. So if you guys know anything about this, feel free to comment it down below. We would love to know what's all happening here. Now we're making our way down a little bit more to check out the rest of the Food & Wine 2024 booths. It looks like our next booth is going to be Delish, one of our favorite booths of all time. And it looks like it has the carbonara garlic mac and cheese. They have something that we do really wanna try is the olive oil cake, as well as the huckleberry citrus cooler. So a lot of cool, unique offerings for this year. It looks like the next booth we have is Garlic Kissed, again, one of our favorites. And it looks like they're bringing back the grilled top sirloin, which is really, really good, as well as a guava lychee mule. So I wonder if we're gonna give that a shot. And it's nice to see that we're gonna have some more tables. There's a lot of fun artwork. Every single year, 
it's something enjoyable so you're not just sitting at just a table you're having almost like a little experience what i would like to see is these stickers pretty much like at each booth i don't know if they can do that in like mass quantities but i don't know i i would i would love those i don't know what i would do with them but it looks cool so again there'll be plenty of seating for you guys for food and wine 2024. so Rilani was asking them to go get her free slice of bread as she always does so we were walking in there and we got to the part where they're starting to cut the bread and the cast members just love seeing her interaction and her enthusiasm and they made some magic for us so to mr ignacio thank you so much for Rilani's little loaf of bread this truly makes us all really happy Always such a peaceful sight is over here in San Francisco. It looks like the water levels are quite high once again. I don't know if it's due to the rain or they're testing some stuff, but usually you can see like the rocks and everything just like right here on the ground. But now we have quite a bit of water. Maybe this is how it's supposed to look and I'm just clueless of the other fact, but again, just a nice peaceful little area of the park. You're able to see the San Francisco Bridge as well as Pixar Pier and the Mickey Fun Wheel. Now we're working our way towards the Grizzly Peak area. It looks like we have a booth over there, so let's go check it out. So it looks like the booth is Peppers Caliente. And it looks like this year what they're actually doing is putting the Sip and Saver eligible on the actual items that you can get it with, which makes sense because with alcohol you can't use your Sip and Saver, but it's kind of cool actually seeing that they have something like that. But anyways, this has the chili relleno empanada, the shrimp papas locas, as well as a fun looking paloma. So sadly, our friends Mei Ling and her mom are, Mei Ling, what the heck? Sadly, our friends Mei Mei and her mom are gone. They took down their beautiful little setup here, but we do notice that there is some greenery still here. So we wonder who the character will be. Obviously, we're always in this area as it's one of Raylani's favorite. So we'll come and find out that mystery for you guys. So as most of you guys know, we are here trying to get some updates because Food and Wine 2024 officially kicks off this Friday. So we're gonna go off of some little information that we have here. First of all, as you guys know, there's always a Sip and Savor Pass. Given how the last festival went, I wonder if they're going to be calling these entitlements again. Something that we did read on the website is that there's going to be a four tab option and an eight tab option. I wonder if that's just for people who are only here for the day and don't have time to try all eight uh, booths. We'll see. And I'm assuming with that, there will be some price differences included. So just keep an eye out um, on our page or our Instagram. As soon as we hear any information on how these will work, we'll let you guys all know. Also, at the entryway, there should be a new map that will be available for this festival year. Um, this is always really helpful. It shows you throughout the park all the food offerings that they have um, or where certain entertainment spots will be. So make sure you pick yourself one of these up. And last item is going to be your Sip and Saver Passport. So this will show you each booth, their food offerings, what's in the food, what is a plant-based item or impossible item. Um, it's just really handy to have. It is an interactive item to have if you have little ones because they do stamp each booth, which we still haven't done it. We say we're going to do it every year so hopefully this is the year we do it um but yeah just make sure you have one of these it's just so handy with all the information that it has it also includes your show time so make sure if you see these that you pick one up because these actually fly off of the shelves very quickly now it's time to head more towards the paradise gardens area it looks like the merchandise booth that's here every year is not here at the moment but i'm assuming it's going to pop back up but pretty much where I got the idea for the theming of all this is what we pointed out in a previous video right here by the stand. I noticed how they added all these fun decorations. So that kind of gave me the idea for what this year's theme is going to be. But it also looks like we have California Craft and Brews, which looks like a really cool looking booth with some good offerings. And it looks like we have the Cheeseburger Bao. We have a S'mores Caramel Tart and we have a frozen mangonada beer sludge. Is that how you say it? Mangonada? Yeah, okay, yeah. so I said it right. So that's that, and then we have a couple other alcoholic items as well. Just a really peaceful day here inside Disney California Adventure Park. The rain has subsided a little bit, which is really nice, but the cloudy days here are just phenomenal. What do you guys think? And here at Cluckadoodle Moo, it looks like we have the cheese pizza flavored wings with some ranch dip. We have the barbecue beef brisket slider. 
We have a kiwi apple lemonade, which we are actually really excited for, as well as the tangerine tiki cocktail. So a fun looking booth for sure. So right behind me is the Cluckadoodle Moo booth. It's one of my favorite booths. They have some really interesting, I think I saw like pizza wings, um, but it's one of the booths, I think for every festival that just sells out of their food like quite quickly. Um, so I'm really hoping that we can lock in our food the day that everything releases and we can try those out for you guys and not have to wait later in the season. But I'm really, really excited for all their offerings. As these days are passing on, we're so excited and more thrilled for this festival. It's probably one of our favorite festivals. I think we got uh, festival holidays and the Lunar New Year being like our top ones, but this does really cut it close with those other festivals. But that just means there's plenty of food. We're gonna have good times with friends and some drinks. So we're gonna try some drinks on this channel, yeah? Um, but anyways, we're gonna make our way towards the festival beer garden and see any new updates over there, just to see about everything that's gonna be coming out for you guys to be able to explore when you guys do come here. Now we're currently making our way inside and it looks like we have some tables already set up. Yeah, I like this approach better than like other festivals where they just have the regular like wired tables or whatever you want to call them. I just think this is more like a fun and like communal style of sitting down and having a good time with your friends and family, enjoying some good drinks. So make sure you come and take some time to just rest and enjoy your time here at the parks. And right here at this little hut area, I don't even know what to call it. Pergola? Okay. There's uh, usually a fun character. So we're not too sure who it's going to be this year. Of course, we're probably going to have like Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy. I think it's a Ramada. Ramada. Okay, fair. <laughs> Maybe we get Remy. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. <laughs> I think of that. And don't forget about Paradise Garden Grill, guys. They always have some amazing offerings when it comes to different events. Also, keep in mind kind of like where Nicole's at, there's going to be some arts and crafts in that area. That's where it was for this pastime. So hopefully we can take Ray Lonnie over here to do some arts and crafts. So I know Henry was just talking about the little kids craft area. We noticed that for Lunar New Year, this is what... <laughs> noticed for Lunar New Year, this is like the main focus point for the kids to do their crafts, which I do think was a good idea to kind of get them away from like the crowdness of everything, but it also does take away some tables. So it's kind of like a good and bad thing that they're doing. Um, but just keep that in mind, if you're looking for the kids crap, I'm thinking this is where it's going to be again. Now Nicole and Ray Lonnie are going to be jumping on emotional whirlwind in honor of Bing Bong. They're over there, they're waving to me, and we'll see them in the air. Nicole and Raylani just finished up with the ride, but guys, check out these cool looking flowers. They're like layered. I almost feel like these belong in like a Dr. Seuss movie. What do you think? These are really cool. Good job. No character today. I'm not seeing anyone, but I do see a cast member, so I'm wondering if someone is going to come out. I don't know. We'll see. But they do need to bring Ian and Barley out yes. again. Guinevere. 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 <laughs> what a fun day. I feel like we've done a little bit of everything. We got some new food. Uh, Nicole and Raylani got on the ride, cruising around to see some updates. It's just been a great day, minus the 10 minutes of rain or something like that, but been fun so far. His eyes are crazy colors on the camera. No applause? Yeah, you did it. <laughs> now it's time for Nicole and Raylani to jump on Jesse's carousel. Raylani has no idea that I'm right here. So let's see what she says. Raylani, hi. <laughs> She's thrown off. <laughs> Nicole and Raylani just got off Jesse's carousel. Always a fun ride. Now we're going to be heading back to Buena Vista Street. Let's go. I made my way inside of Knickknacks and check this out. This is a really cool Mike Wazowski hat, as well as like an abstract kind of throwback colors to Mike Wazowski. That is so cool. And also inside, it looks like there are tons of new Remy pieces of merchandise. One of my favorites though, being this really cute looking bucket hat. 
I almost think I might buy it for Nicole right now. I just got out of the store and take a look at this view, guys. It never gets old. So I am definitely blessed we're able to come here and do this. And it's all thanks to you guys. So once again, truly thank you guys so much for making this dream possible. We couldn't do it without you guys. We couldn't do it without our Patreon members. So thank you guys so much. Okay, so right behind me is Sonoma Terrace. I was telling Henry that one of my goals for this food and wine festival is to actually try a wine being that that's what this whole festival is about. I'm not the biggest wine drinker, but hopefully I can get some good recommendations from some cast members on what to try and review it for you guys here on the channel. We're just kind of finishing up this video and we came over here to the dance party and it looks like they're closed until two. So unfortunately, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it today. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Let us know in the comment section down below if you're gonna be coming for 2024 Food and Wine Festival. We would love to hear. With all that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed. Tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. And like we always say, may you always have a magical adventure. See you guys in the next video. Bye.